Well, you guys, in this video, we're taking a look at some of the new changes in Windows 10 October 2020 update. This will be the version 20H2. This will be the very latest feature update release from Microsoft. Now, this update is focused on bug fixing and performance fixes. Microsoft said it will be more stable and uh, be less buggy than the previous versions. So that's good news for us Windows 10 users. Let's just see whether that holds true when it's released to the general public. So this version of Windows 10 will be a feature update, just like uh, Windows 10 2004. So the very first feature update change in this one is you can see here, you can do multitasking on this one. They've added multitasking on Microsoft Edge. And you can see you've got up to five windows there, uh, which you can alt tab uh, to. So using the alt tab feature, you can do that. Now you can also make changes to this. Let me go to the settings window here. And I need to go back to the home screen. There we go. And what we need to do is click on system here. And once you go to system, you'll be able to click on multitasking. And you can see here, there's an alt tab area here, which pressing alt tab, and you can make some changes here, which this is for Microsoft Edge. Now, obviously, uh, Chrome and all that have got the same feature built into them, but Microsoft Edge didn't have that feature. So they've added that into this release. Now, also as well is Microsoft Edge. The very latest version has been also added into the installation now. So you don't have to go and update it and download it from the internet. It's already comes pre-installed on that build. So that's another feature that they've added in. So they haven't had many features added on this one. So let's go to the start button here and you can see the menu system here has had some changes. The start menu theme uh, blends in with the icons as well and also the tiles blend in a lot better with the menu theme no matter what color you use. You can visibly see the icons a lot better there as well on the left hand side. So it does look a lot better. Let's just change the color of that and I'll show you uh, when you change color on the, the actual themes here, it does actually blend in a lot better on the tiles and on the icons here. So they go to colors here. And what we'll do is we'll go down to the color palette and we'll just choose any old color really. It doesn't really matter what color we choose. And I can put ticks in these here as well. And you should see the color match is a lot better on the tiles and also on the icons. You can see them a lot more clearer. So it's a lot better. And again, Windows 10 is work in progress and it will basically keep evolving. And this is what Microsoft aimed to do with Windows 10. So it may take a bit of time to get there, but eventually uh, the end result is going to just get better and better. They do need to up their game on their bug fixing. That's a horrid color that is. But yeah, uh, that's they need to uh, do something about uh, the bug fixing and get make sure that that is fixed before they release those major um, updates. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at some of the other features. There's not many in this update, so people that are worried about missing out, um, I would say really, as long as you've got all the updates for 2004 and bug fixes, then you don't have to jump straight into this latest release. So let's go to a system here. And I just wanted to show you this one here as well. Go to the about area and uh, they've added this little novel thing in here, which allows you to now copy your Windows specifications by just clicking on this button here. And of course, you can paste that straight into a forum or Discord or a notepad or wherever it is you want to copy and paste that into. Um, so when you're trying to give someone your system specs, you can basically paste them in just like this makes it quick and easy. Now, of course, people always get and ask what their system specs are and things like that. So that does make it a lot more easier. But I don't think that's a necessity for me in Windows 10. There's also got some uh, icons up here, which they've added from the control panel. Eventually, the old control panel will be going away in Windows 10. It's going to be some time yet because they're transferring everything over to the settings pane. And the settings area will be where you're going to find all of the icons for device manager and other areas which you can also access inside uh, the 
a control panel, the old style control panel, which eventually will be phased out by Microsoft and you will be using the new settings pane for all of your needs instead of going to control panel. Also, they've added the automatic tablet mode switching by default now in this uh, release for Windows 10 20H2. So you can change the way that works by going into this uh, tablet area here on your settings pane. So let's right click onto our desktop and go to display settings here. And this is another little feature they've added in. Well, it's not a feature, it's always been there, but click on advanced display settings. But this little area here, refresh rate was not here before. You had to basically go into another area to change that. And this is now added all into one little settings area here, which I think makes it a lot easier for people to find things. And I think eventually, Microsoft plan is to do that with a lot of these features to have them easy accessible. You've got multiple displays here and a bunch of other settings inside here, which have been here before on the previous versions. Also, Microsoft have worked hard at pinning sites to the taskbar work better. And also the notifications area inside here, they've quietened those down quite a lot. So it's not so uh, aggressive at notifying you on every single thing. So they've dampened that right down. So you won't be getting as many focused assist pop-ups uh, that show you notifications or bugging you for notifications anymore. They've uh, stopped that feature. Also, if you're a Windows 10 Enterprise user, then the quality for expanded support lifecycle has been extended to 30 months instead of the usual 18 months Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. That's all they've added to the Windows 10 20 H2 update. So not a lot of features added to this one. I think they were concentrating on a lot of bug fixing and also performance fixes for this release. So hopefully when this is released, you won't see so many problems. But Microsoft have said that before and there's been problems with every single release so far. So hopefully we get trouble-free updates for this one. I'll keep an eye on it and let you know whether there's any problems with this one. And of course, if there isn't, then I'll be letting you know whether to update or not. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this one's been useful to you. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.